Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkers.com, here to bring you your mid uh, forecast for June. So your mid-month forecast for June. So what are we gonna talk about today? Love and then advice, overall love and then advice, and then career and finance and then advice, and then health and wellness. So stick with me till the end, let's jump right in. So if you like a personal way with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. For more information, you can check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. All right, so let's jump right in. So my Taurus is around like love life for June, for now until June 30th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. Okay, feels good. Let's go to my Tauruses from now until June 30th. Let's go to my Tauruses from now until June 30th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, so we got celebration, friendship, hanging out, joy here. Also, threes can also signify having more than one choice or option here. And the tree card shows me you're in a healing state, a recovery state with a tree card energy. So it looks like you're in a happy place, a joyful place. Maybe you're hanging out with friends. Maybe there is some kind of option when it comes to a friend here with the Three of Cups energy, or there's some kind of joyful things going on for you. Some kind of celebrations happening for you with the Three of Cups energy in the current situation. Also could show you could have more than one choice or option. Five is about some changes. Three is about a creative solution or having more than one choice or option. What's the blockage? So it looks like the blockage being uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Uh, there may be somebody who wants to speak their truth. What do they want to speak their truth about? About a particular person. So there is somebody who wants to speak a truth to you with the Queen of Swords energy, or maybe you want to speak a truth to this particular person here. Two plus nine is 10, 11, something to do with a choice. A choice need to be made and there needs to be truth spoken about it. All right, so at the foundation, we have a soulmate connection and a choice towards love. So the choice is being made with the heart here. And there we go, communication, messages, letters, written documents here, something official here with this letter card energy. So a soulmate wants to give you a message or this person is feeling like, all right, I wanna make a choice with my heart and I wanna write this down. I wanna send you a message here and I wanna send it in a letter, possibly for some of you, maybe a written letter. I, I remember uh, one of the comments that said that they actually got a written letter from someone. So. Two plus seven is eight, nine. Nine is about wishes being fulfilled and two is a choice here. So there's a choice being made to fulfill wishes. What happened in the past? It seems like you were dealing with a defeated kind of situation. Like uh, there was a situation where you're like, should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away from this? Um, and this had to do with house and family, something close to home or stability here with the house card energy. Five is about some challenges or changes and four is about stability and stableness. So what's going on at the head of the matter here? Okay, so it looks like you're gaining your confidence and your courage and your strength here with the strength card energy. Um, and a child card shows me, um, you know, you're, you're feeling like there's some kind of fresh start. There's a new opportunity for some of you. This could be a completely new person here with the child card energy. Um, and for some of you, uh, maybe there is, uh, you're feeling like, all right, there is something that's innocent about it, that's a child card energy, or you're just bringing things together where you're feeling like, all right, I, I finally feel stable and I feel like everything's coming together. There's stability and stableness. I feel confident. I just want to gain that courage and strength here. And obviously there is a person that wants to speak a truth. What's the truth about love here? Two of cups energy. So um, what's going on in the near future? Okay, so there's a bit of defensive energy there in the near future because the, there is a person that has their walls up here. They're like, all right, I don't wanna get hurt. I'm gonna keep my guard up and I don't, I, I'm stressing, there's a person that's stressing here. Even though there's light coming in this window, it's like there's almost like there's a person that feels like something's gonna eat away at them or hurt them in some way. So there's a defensive energy happening here about talking and speaking, okay. So there's some talking and speaking happening in the near future. Uh, however, there's, there's a little bit of a standoff kind of energy when it comes to this, okay. Uh, three is about a creative solution, working towards a foundation, and nine is about wishes being fulfilled. Let's see what the influence is, okay. So some flirty kind of energy, page of wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And the anchor, well, this, this flirty energy could be coming through the job area or it could be somebody or some, some person that you could have been dealing with for a long time here with the anchor card energy. 
or um, there's this message of passion, this flirty energy coming out here, or you're seeing what's out here because maybe you feel like you want some kind of the stability and stableness and you want something to be lasting for a while. So you're kind of seeing, well, okay, what's out there? Let me explore what's out there. Or the person that you're dealing with could be saying this, okay? So three plus five is some kind of work or effort into exploring things passionately, potential passions there, page of wands. Okay, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. All right, let's see what the outcome is gonna be. Hmm. Message of love, okay? So it's a lot about talking and speaking here. Yep, and then the birds card is again, referencing the fact that there's talking and speaking about marriage and long-term commitment. Whoa, okay. And um, there's a patient energy because there's a person that wants some kind of equal give and take. Okay, so there is, could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There is messages of love coming in and it's to do with marriage and long-term commitment and a patient energy because there's a person that's like, all right, I need an equal give and take. I need to sure that these things are balanced here or something emotional that needs to be balanced here with this temperance card energy. Four is about stability and stableness. So let's keep going. Let's see what this is. The message of love is coming in because of something that ended or stopped. And yep, we're getting news and messages and a child card represents something new here. So it looks like for some of you, because of the fact there's this defensive energy, I feel like someone's coming out of another relationship possibly because of the fact that something ended or stopped here uh, because of news and messages of something brand new, a fresh start, a new opportunity with the child card energy. Um, and let's just clarify a little bit further. Why is a death card here or the coffin card here? Because of strength, long time lilies and love. Here we go, new love. Yep, child card represents new love, new love. Okay, so uh, there is a new path in love, new love, page of cups energy. And there's some issues around marriage and long-term commitment or talking or speaking about this. And this is what's making this patient energy happen here with this temperance card energy. There's a patient energy for something that needs to be an equal give and take because something that ended or stopped because of something with strength and control. All right, what's this coughing card about? What's this coughing card about? What's this coughing card about? Knight of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, some kind of passionate energy or there's some issues around possible commitment issues and moving forward into calmer waters with the Six of Swords energy and contemplating about the long-term basis with the Queen of Pentacles energy. So I feel like the defensive energy is, is because of the fact that you want something stable, you want some kind of long-term commitments, so that's why that Four of Wands is coming into play here, and you don't wanna get hurt, you don't want to get played here with this uh, Knight of Wands energy. You want something that's going to last for a while here, and that's why the Anchor card is coming out. You don't want something that's just gonna flirt with you or be a flirty kind of energy. You want something to do with a long time here with the Lily's card energy, and you're willing to be patient for that equal give and take because of this new situation, this new love or fresh start and new opportunity with your situation. All right, so bear with me for a second here while I clear this out of the way. So then we'll move on to your advice and then we'll work on your career and finance. So it does look like there is, for some of you, new a new situation and for others of you, it could be uh, a renewed love situation. Okay, so can I have some advice for my Tauruses, romantic love life, or how to June 30th, show my cards I need to see, show my cards I need to see. Yes, this is your soulmate, aw. Well, obviously we saw that in the, um, the foundation. You have to be honest, remember? We, we saw that the blockage was somebody had to speak their truth about flirting so yeah so spirit wants you to be honest yes this is your soulmate you have to be honest about the fact that you're not interested in just doing this whole flirty thing you want something serious you want something more long term here okay you have to tell them about that you have to be honest about that all right let's move on to your career and finance here so let's go on my Taurus's career and finance for now until June 30th. Let's go on my Taurus's career and finance for now until June 30th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. All right, let's see here. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, 
the Two of Pentacles. And I'm also going to grab some advice and then we'll go over everything. Can I have some advice for my Taurus's career and finance, please? Can I have some advice for my Taurus's career and finance? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, attracting, not chasing. Okay. So it looks like you're working in possibly for some of you in a, some kind of a team environment, okay? Three of Pentacles energy. Because there's uh, people creating something, working together. It's a, it's a, it's, it's an issue this um, until the 30th about working together, working in, in a team environment and building something here, building some kind of uh, stability and stableness. There seems to be a lot of competition at play here with this Five of Wands energy, or this is causing a lot of disputes and arguments here with the Five of Wands energy. And it looks like you're going to be trying to do some kind of work-life balance here with the Two of Pentacles energy. It looks like you're going to be weighing some kind of heavy choices here. It's like you're like, all right, I need balance in this situation, and I feel like, okay, I need to make some kind of choice. So you're trying to weigh a lot of things, uh, a lot of obligations and a lot of things at once here with the Two of Pentacles energy. And this is causing you some challenges here. Three is about some kind of creative solution or working together. Five is about some kind of change or challenges about a choice here with the two card energy and it looks like spirit is saying your advice is attracting and not chasing anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of fears underlying the chasing energy instead of attracting what you need by sending out love and gratitude and welcoming energy so they're saying instead of seeing this as a competitive thing or trying to go after it really you know just allow it to come to you just let it go and allow it to come to you because it will come to you Okay. All right. So now let's work on your health and wellness. Okay. What's going on my Taurus's health and wellness for now until June 30th? Show me cards I need to see. Can I have some advice, please? Let me see. Show me cards I need to see. All right. Let's see here. Laughter is the best medicine. So staying happy. That's suggestions for spirit. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humor and irony within every human drama. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, let me know in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you guys because um, it does look like you're going to have a very interesting week here coming up. Um, it does look like there, for some of you, definitely a brand new situation is happening for you. So let me know in the comments below. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your month. I'll be seeing you soon.